Let's go and take a look. First thing, continuity. Right? If we're going to check to find the values that make A and B continuous, we know it has to be differentiable, or I'm sorry, continuous. So therefore, I'll just simply do 3x squared plus 4x has to equal 2x cubed plus bx plus c. Again, first thing, I make sure that obviously I have an equal sign there, so I know it's possible for it to be continuous. And then that is has to be continuous at x equals 3. So therefore, I'll just plug in 3 squared, or 3 in for x. I don't know why I wrote in 1. I was thinking, right, remember, yeah, so it has to be continuous at 1, right? That would make our numbers a lot prettier. OK, so just go ahead and do some mental math here. We're going to have 3 plus 4 equals 2 plus b plus c. Add them, get this to the other side. 3 plus 4 is 7, minus 2 is 5, equals b plus c. Good. Now let's check differentiability. So we want to check if it's differentiable. And again, that both the derivatives on the left and the right side, left and right hand side are equal. So we're going to differentiate um, the derivative and that's going to be at 1. Basically, that's just a notation of showing that the derivative on both of those sides has to be able to equal at x equals 1. Just giving you guys a little bit more formal definition or showing what to work. So basically, we're going to take the derivative of both sides and then evaluate at x equals 1, right? So taking the derivative here, we have um, 6x plus 4 has to equal 8x squared plus b. 2 times 3 is 6. Thank you. Then we evaluate at 1. So 2 times 1 plus 4. That's equal 6 times 1 squared plus b. 6 plus 1 is going to be 10. Equals 6 plus b. Subtract 6. Subtract 6. 4 equals b. So good. We got two answers with b. And then we can just plug that back in. So we have 5 equals 4 plus c minus 4c equals 1. So, good job. All right.